Here we are in Adobe Illustrator and the first thing you're going to do when you're designing a card is just go over to File, New and create a new canvas and so or a new document. And right here where it says Artboard Setup, just make sure you choose Custom and for size, for units just do inches. And the standard size of a business card is 2 inches in height. So you're going to put 2 in there and then 3.5 for width. You don't have to worry about orientation and just, you know, make sure CMYK color is selected. Just hit OK. And adjust your percentage to about 200 and you'll see there's your canvas. And a 2 inches by 3.5 inches is a standard business card. And that's the size that you see here in this photo. It's basically your standard business cards that you normally get from anyone. And um, when you're printing out your first set of business cards, you always want to start there. Then you can get creative later on with different sizes. But So once you, once you create your canvas, what you're going to do, you want to create, uh, if, if you're looking at my photos here, let's see. Or if you're looking at this photo, there's 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 the front, I have the front, and then the back. So when you're in Adobe Illustrator, you want to create one one of these canvases or one of these documents will be totally for the front side of the card, and then you're gonna create another this you're gonna go through the same process and create another document and design your back side of the card. So at the end of the day, you're gonna have two files that you would send to your printer, one for the front and one for the back. Okay, so in this particular case, what you can do is start designing your card, and um, the only thing you want to keep in mind is you want to you want to you can set up you can set up sort of um, little containers like this so that you can design within this area. Let's see. Web console. So if, let's say this is this is my business card, right? Oh, let's do. Let's say this is my business card. You basically don't want to go. You don't want to create text that's sort of outside this area here, and you just want to. Yeah, you can you can kind of eyeball it and kind of just say. I don't want anything to go outside this area because if it's too close, it could get cut off um, during the cutting process of your business card. So you always want to keep uh, your content, your main content, inside of, of this area, leaving a few, you know, some space in between. And the ideal space, you know, I don't really know. You just got to, like, figure it out. Just kind of kind of judge. Just, just, you know, set, you know, maybe 20 pixels or something like that apart from the edge of your business card and that way at the end you can delete that container and just all your content would be inside also when designing your card um, let's go back here if you're going to create a, a certain sort of colored background you want to highlight the entire you want to highlight the entire or, or go outside of the the boundaries of your business card and that's called the um, that's called bleeding so you've probably heard of the term um, the bleed so in the, the first part is you don't want to create your text to be outside of the, this boundary but when you're creating a, a background color for your business card you want to go outside of the boundaries and that's just to make sure that your color or the background color bleeds to the very edge of your business card so for example if you created a box and you had it like that um, to, to the eye you want you wouldn't probably wouldn't know but when, when once it's done and get printed out you could have a little white space there so just make sure you you um, bleed your your background colors to the edge 
Now, I'm just showing you a simple the simple principles in designing a card. You can um, the design is totally up to you. And so I'm going to show you a set of cards that I created. It's the one that I previously showed you in the in the in the the image there. So here's a card that I created. I have a black box, and you can see if you look really closely, the box goes. I I I you know made the box go outside of the canvas here and that's so that I could the 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 background color uh, I made sure that the background color actually was printed to the edge of the actual card and my logo here is the same principles that I used in another video I showed you how to create a a logo in Adobe Illustrator and this is just a a, a simple text logo with a little circle there with my ML icon and I just converted that to 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 a vector format and so everything you have here um, is is sort of uh, using the same principles that I talked about is, is staying within a certain limit here so that my text isn't too far to the edge and uh, let me show you the back of my card I created another canvas and I did the same thing. It's a simple, here's a simple black box container that I put back there because I wanted the color um, to be a, you know, have a black background, the slight gradient. And here are some interesting vector illustrations that I, um, that I decided to put up there. And so that's pretty much it. So now, once I, once I have my, my two um, files set up, the front and the back, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and hit, you want to select all, you want to do type, and then you want to create outlines. And then you want to go save as. And then when you're saving your business cards, you always want to save four sets. Once you've created your outlines, you want to save as as print ready. So bit ML biz card back underscore print ready. And the reason why I, I want to do that is so that once you created um, outlines on your business card, you can go back in here and change the font and change the text if you wanted to. So I always keep a a version that's not in outline format, so that if I wanted to come in here, here I could um, I could change the text and print new business cards. Same for the front um, for the front of my cards. So if you you always want to keep a, a set of cards that I can come in here and change the name. So if I had another employee. I could say Jamie Fox, right? And then I could say, I would do the same thing. I would highlight this, uh, do type, create outlines, and then I would save it as Jamie BizCard front underscore print ready, sort of like this here. So I would always have a, a working version and then a print ready version okay so that's pretty much it okay so once you're done there what you can do is what I would do is just go ahead and f do file print and what you're gonna do is you're gonna print this out if you look if you look closely here you notice that when you print these out like on your printer your normal inkjet printer your cards will be printed out in this in this actual size of your business cards and what I do there is I print that out and then I take a scissors and I cut around my business card and show it to people to see if the fonts are too small or if the fonts are too large and and what I would do if the fonts are too small I would come back in here and and adjust the fonts accordingly and and once I do that um, once I get to the final final um, size that I like I just save this off and and I send this to my printer and to get them printed so that's pretty much it you know hope, hopefully this video was helpful if you have any questions shoot me an email um, if you enjoyed it, please rate it, uh, comment, and uh, look out for more videos. Subscribe to my channel and um, look out for more videos to come. All right. We'll be talking soon. Talk to you later. Bye.